This door was open. I heard a bunch of banging. Fatir Ahmed is the imam of the Baitul Karim Mosque, a place that's supposed to be for prayers and contemplation. But when he opened the doors of his mosque yesterday evening, what he saw were the remnants of acts of anger and destruction. A TV, um, as you can see uh, over there, uh, that was taken. A TV and some electronics were stolen, but mostly the property was vandalized. This violent act, what yeah. does this say to you? Uh, it shows that uh, there's hatred definitely in, in, in someone's, uh, and there's frustration. You can clearly see the frustration. They threw a bunch of stuff at the back, blocking the The door. Waterloo Regional Police say they're still investigating what motivated this act of vandalism, but their hate crimes unit is involved. At this point in time, I do not have any suspect information, uh, but again, we are actively investigating. We do have several units involved in this, and we have deployed uh, significant resources towards this investigation. And I just wanted to offer our heartfelt feelings that we are here to do anything possible in order to help prevent any acts in the future. But many Canadian Muslims aren't feeling reassured. They fear attacks against them are on the rise. Just earlier this week, a mother and daughter in Hamilton were verbally attacked in the street. And last month, a hit and run fueled by hate killed four members of the same family in London, Ontario. So we need to do our part in helping to get, uh, get rid of the misinformation that's out there. The part that we can use help from, from politicians or other Canadians is to help us with that dialogue and not demonizing uh, a certain community. For now, the Cambridge Mosque has tightened its security and police are starting more frequent patrols around the area. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Cambridge, Ontario.